We'll go back to another viewer submitted question, and this is from Wicked West Films. Nice name, by the way. What advice would you give to a writer to make their stories stronger with more depth and meaning? Well, we kind of just talked about meaning a little bit, and. Um, yeah, um, well, to, I mean, it's gonna sound kind of facile, but it's kind of like these seven elements to really understand and explore each of them and try to like hit each of those is what makes, to me, makes things powerful. Like when you make sure that what you're writing is a punishing problem, it is relatable, universally relatable situation for your characters. There is something original, something believable. The stakes are life altering for the characters. All of that is what makes something powerful. You also also want to be entertaining, and it's going to mean something to people if you're exploring something that is not just your surface story plot, but is something that has some depth for the characters. It's like if the characters feel something deeply and are going something going through something that the audience connects with emotionally and feels like they become bonded, like we talked about with the character, where they feel like it's happening to me. You know, what they're going through, I feel like I'm experiencing it. That's what really gives it a powerful impact. So, but all of these elements of story are all ways in which you achieve that. Because like the bigger the problem is, the more important it is to solve, the more the characters under kind of siege trying to solve it, the more you're gonna have a better chance at the audience connecting that way. So, so much of it has to do with your choice of idea and the kind of the genre that it's in and what your basic premise of your story is to make sure that it's going to have the ability to have that powerful impact. So this save the cat moment or this relatability, does this have to happen in the middle, toward the end, in the beginning? I mean, even in the sharp objects, there's just a moment where Amy Adams stops for a gentleman who's about to cross and they have this quick exchange and she gestures for him to like go ahead and he says kind of like no you go ahead and then she nods she's not like stubborn about it where no 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 go 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 she she's like and you you see okay i trust her i like her mm -hmm. in that moment but then there's a lot of things that happen that where you're like hmm not quite quite sure about this person but that little moment right there and that happens fairly soon makes her relatable i think it does help classically in the beginning if the character, if you're all about making the character be someone that the audience can connect with in the very opening pages. So that that can have to do with them being a nice person like that, but it can also have to do with them having problems that we can instantly relate to and feel something about. So even if they're not that nice, like in eighth grade, she's not necessarily so nice, but she's going through such just terrible problems that most people can relate to, you can't help but start to get emotionally connected. So to me, it's a, it's a combination of likability and the problems. The less likable they are, the more immediate, obvious, and big the problems need to be for the audience to have something to grasp onto emotionally. I think when in doubt, it's good to also be likable, but there are certainly some stories that succeed with characters that aren't necessarily classically likable. Um, <clears throat> but I would say, it can be very counterproductive if, you're, if your character starts the movie kind of a jerk because you're trying to arc them into a nicer person at the end. If they don't have really massive problems they're facing that make us relate despite them being a jerk, it can be hard for the audience to want to engage and stay with, in my opinion, a character that's just kind of really unlikable. Um, it's, it's rare that that can work. I'm not saying never, but it's rare. And I do see a lot of scripts where that's the, 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 the choice the writer made to make the character unlikable in the beginning because they're so focused on character arc. But it can undermine the story if they're so unlikable that we have no reason as an audience to really want to stay with them. It's not as easy to get an audience to want to, to join you on that character's journey as you might think. You kind of have to make them want to, <laughs> I think. So, so establish that fairly early. I think, yeah. Interesting, okay. Okay, because those kind of those first few, the first impressions count kind of yes. thing. Yes. Interesting.